Hey, this is Steve Gale with your Daily Notes for Wednesday, August 29, 2012. Well, the Republican National Convention is underway in Tampa, Florida, and the media is already up to their old tricks. On the first night of the convention, which featured all sorts of great speakers from Nikki Haley to Mia Love to Archer Davis, a former Democrat black congressman from Alabama who actually seconded the nomination of Barack Obama four years ago, speaking at the Republican convention, urging people just like him to vote for Romney this time, all of those faces were excluded from coverage by MSNBC. They only covered the white speakers to help promote their idea that only white people are Republicans. It's going to be interesting to see in day two of the convention how they cover up the fact that Condoleezza Rice is the featured speaker of the night. Or maybe even on the night that Mitt Romney accepts the nomination, Marco Rubio will be speaking that night. How far can they go with their selective editing? Maybe they'll use a whiteboard to actually kind of white out the black faces, the brown faces, the Asian faces that are part of this convention. The fact is the Democratic Party controls the mainstream media, and they're going to put their spin on this convention this week and then double down next week as they cover the Democratic Party convention. The key is to hope people look through the media coverage to the truth. When I ran for Congress years ago, an old boy told me not to worry too much about the lies and smear campaign that was being run against me. The truth, he said, we got on them, Steve, is a lot worse than the lies they got on us. That's what we're going to hopefully see play out this time. The truth that the Republicans have, the truth that Mitt Romney has on Barack Obama, is a lot worse than the lies Obama and his team can tell about Mitt Romney and the Republicans. That's your Daily Notes for today. We'll be back with more soon right here on the Steve Gill Show and GillReport.com.